Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 before here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the 10 centimeter Sewer Canona 18. The 10.5 centimeter Sewer Canona 18 or abbreviated to 10.5 centimeter SK18 was a fuel gun used by Germany in World War II. The German army wanted a new 10.5 centimeter gun as well as a 15 centimeter howitzer which were to share the same carriage. Uh, guns are heavier than howitzers due to their longer barrel. This led to the 15cm SFH-18 as both weapons had a similar weight and could be carried by a similar carriage. By 1926, uh, Krupp and Rheinmetall had spe uh, specimen designs and prototypes were ready by 1930, but not fielded until 1933 and 1944. Both uh, Krupp and Rheinmetall competed for the developmental contract, but the Warmog comprised and selected Krupp's carriage to be mated with the Rheinmetall's gun. And it sometimes equipped the medium artillery battalion with the 15cm SFH-18 of German division, but generally uh, was used by independent artillery battalions on the coast defense duties. Some are used as anti-tank guns during the early stages of the War of the Eastern Front, as well as the prototype self-propelled gun Dicker Max around 50. 1,500 guns were produced until 1945, and after the war it served with the Albion and Bulgarian armies. Um, so yeah, a really interesting uh, gun for sure, and we don't really have too many heavy artillery um, guns either, so, you know, really cool to um, have a, a new one out in, on the channel and all that stuff for you guys to enjoy, as I've been getting a lot of requests recently to do some type of field guns or artillery and stuff like that, so hope you guys do enjoy it and are able to have fun with the build and put it to good use. Um, so yeah, going ahead and moving into taking a look at the build itself. It overall um, came out pretty cool. So it's got a, it's obviously got the main gun right here, which is a 10.5 centimeter gun, uh, which is pretty cool, which roughly translates to about 100 millimeters. Um, going ahead and uh, moving on, we have lots of detail all around the gun itself. So lots of little detail bits and all that stuff for the gun mechanisms and the carriage as well. So the, the uh, basically the uh, you know wheels the axle that the gun sits on we have also have the support braces here that lead back like so and same thing over here so you have these um you know obviously so it supports the gun and when it fires and all that stuff so um overall really cool gun came out really nice and will make a nice addition to any of your um you know maps and all that stuff as an artillery piece um i will be doing a tutorial also on the uh toad version so this is the version of the gun all kind of set up in a tow position so that could be towed by opal blitzes or other uh you know tractors and stuff like that um but yeah this is going to be focusing on the deployed version and the ready to fire version so without further ado let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer one for layer one to go ahead and get started with we're going to place down a row of two or basically just two uh cobblestone stairs back to back like so and these two stairs here are going to make the right uh, wheel right over here. When that's done here, we're going to go from the front uh, cobblestone stair, so whatever direction you want your gun facing, we're going to place down one, two, and three uh, end rods across, followed by another cobblestone upside down stair and one right behind it. When that's done, we're going to place down a brick top, or another brick top set to both sides, followed by a stone brick top set in between them, like so. With that done, we're going to go and place down a brick top slab, going back from this narrow brick top slab here on both sides. We then want to go ahead and go out at an angle like this, and then place down two, or sorry, three stone brick top slabs back. Same thing over here on this side as well. With that done, we're going to go out to the side again with a row of three of stone brick, or sorry, a row of two of stone brick top slabs, and same thing over here, like so. And on the insides here, we're going to go ahead and go to this first stone brick top slab here and place down a skeleton squad on both sides. With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished anzite block on both sides like this, followed by a stone brick stair like this coming off that polished anzite block. Uh, once that's done, on the sides of this polished anzite block to the outside here, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and delete this stair, and my bad, we're actually going to go ahead and go one more polished anzite block out, followed by a stone brick stair back, and then same thing here, one polished anzite out, uh, out block back, and then a stone brick stair after it. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go to the polished anzite block, and on both sides here, we're going to place down a trip bar hook, like so. And then coming off the uh, polished anti block forward, we're going to place down an end rod, skeleton skull, and then same thing over here, end rod, and skeleton skull, just like that. With that all done, that is going to wrap up layer one for the build. Pretty simple and straightforward so far. And uh, one last thing to 
Actually, nope, there's nothing for us to do. I thought there was something left, but there wasn't. Um, anyways, that's it for layer one. Let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer two. For layer two to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down two cobblestone stairs back to back on top of these two cobblestone upside down stairs. So just like that. After that's done, in between these cobblestone uh, stairs here, we're going to place down a row of, uh, or sorry, just one polished anti block here on like stone brick top sub. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall to both sides of this cobblestone or this polished anti full block. Going toward the front here, we're going to place down an anvil like this on top of the end rod here in the middle, followed by a wooden sign coming off of it. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides, and on these end rods here, we're going to place down a, um, or a dragon head. So we're going to go and do the same thing here on both sides and make sure we replace our end rods if we need to so you have something that looks just like this uh, for the carriage there and the heads. With uh, that all done there, we're going to go and take our, we're going to take our cobblestone walls, we're going to go one and then two back, one and then two out to the side like that. Going back from this, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, polished anti blocks, same thing over here, one and two, and we're also going to place down tripwire hooks on the sides of these two polished anti blocks on the outside like so. Um, on the inside here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, only on the left side, and we also want to go ahead and place down a row of uh, one, two, and three iron trap doors come off that polished anti block there in the middle. And uh, actually, real quick, this iron first iron trap door will swap out for a stone brick upside down stair. So then you have two iron trap doors that go back like that. Uh, once that's uh, all finished off there, we're going to continue on working our way back. So going back from this polished anti block, we're going to place down a stone brick slab on both sides, followed by a stone brick slab on top of this top slab on both sides like that. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, and around the cobblestone wall, we're going to take signs and wrap it around it like so and we're going to go over here on this side and place down a stone brick slab on top of this top slab right there uh, with that done we're going to go, ahead and go back to our polished anti block here place down a redstone repeater with the notches flicked out to the side like this and then we just want to place down a stone brick slab on top of the stone brick stair like so with the skeleton skull coming off that slab toward the rear with uh, that all finished there that is uh, going to wrap it up for layer number two and with that we can move on to our next layer layer number three all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer three for layer three to go and start off with we're going to place down a polished anisite block on top of this anvil like so going back from the, or going toward the front with this polished anisite block we're going to place down one more forward followed by a stone brick stair coming off of it and then a skeleton skull coming off the front of the stone brick stair once that's done we're going to place down a wooden sign on the side of the stair and also on the side of this polished anisite block and the same thing over here as sign on the side of the stone brick stair inside this polished anisite block after that, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on both sides of this polished anisite block here. After that, we're going to go and take a stone brick stair, and we're going to place down a stone brick stair, which is going to basically go on top of this cobblestone wall here on both sides like that. And then in between the cobblestone or the stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a polished anisite block. On the side of the stone brick stairs here, we're going to place down a item frame with a polished anisite block in it. Same thing over here on this side as well. Uh, with that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished anisite block that goes back from this one here in the middle, and to both sides of it, we're going to place down a iron bar. So one and two iron bars there on both sides. Once that's done, come up the iron bars to the sides, we're going to place down an iron trap door to both sides, and then we want to go ahead and place down a light gray banner coming off this iron trap door like this for a little bit of the panels here um, on the side of the gun there. Uh, once that's all done there, continuing to work our way back, we're going to place down another polished anisite block coming off this one right here. And we then want to place down a uh, stone brick slab right here in this position here. And on both sides of the stone brick slab, we're going to place down a wooden sign like so. Now over here on the right side, in the right side only, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate on top of this stone brick top slab. And we want to have the fence gate opened up toward the rear there. Coming off the fence gate like so, we're going to place down an item frame like this and then we want to then place down a cobweb like this in the iron frame itself after that's done we're going to place down a skeleton skull come off the side of this dark oak fence gate and uh that right there will pretty much do it there for the gears on the right on the uh left side we have nothing to do on the right side so basically this side's going to be left pretty open there uh we then want to take our redstone repeaters place down two redstone repeaters on these two polished anisite blocks and flip their notches out to the side there so they're all the way spread out like that and with that all done, that is going to do it for layer three. Let's move on to uh, our last final layers, layers four and five. All right, guys, moving on to our last final layers, we have layers four and five. For layers four and five, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a polished anisite block on top of the stone brick stair, followed by one more that goes forward. Coming off that polished anisite block, we're going to go ahead and go forward one, two, three, four, five, and six. Cobblestone walls forward there for the barrel of the gun. 
After that, after this polished dance, I block here. We're gonna go ahead and go back one, two, and three. On both sides of the second to last um, polished dance I block, we're gonna be placing down a uh, skeleton skull here on both sides. After that, I'm gonna place down a uh, cobblestone wall that goes back from this uh, this uh, skeleton skull just like this. And we also wanna place down a sign on the side of this cobblestone wall here to both sides. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a anvil coming off this polished dance I block back, followed by a stone brick upside down the stair. After that's done, coming off the stone break upside down stair here on the left side, we're going to place down a skeleton skull and also a end rod that goes forward from the skeleton skull to connect up to this uh, cobblestone wall here. Once that's done, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a tripwire hook and place down a tripwire hook on the back of this stone brick stair over here on the right side like that. So you have your gun breach and everything like that on the back here for the gun. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a redstone comparator on top of this stone brick upside down stair here. And coming off the redstone comparator going forward, we're going to place down a iron trap door. Uh, once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a um, end rod and also a skeleton skull. We're going to go ahead and go to this uh, iron bar section here on the right side. We're going to go ahead and place down a place order block, place down a skeleton skull on top of it, and delete this block, and then in that block space in between the skeleton skull and iron bar here, we're going to place down an end rod like that. With that done, we're going to take our stone brick slabs. We're going to go ahead and go forward one, two, and three. Stone brick slabs forward followed by a skeleton skull on the front here, followed by signs on the side of these two stone brick slabs. Then over here on this side, we're gonna go and do the same thing. Uh, signs on these two stone brick slabs. And once you have that all finished there, that is going to pretty much wrap up my design for the in-firing position or uh, deployed version for the SK-18 uh, 10.5 centimeter fuel gun. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using it, I do want to say you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be the from a sign build to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build and uh, hopefully you guys have fun with it and all that fun stuff. Um, other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204 and I'll see you guys next time.